Okay, ladies and gents, um, this is just a raw clip. It's going to be, it might appear a little weird and out of place, but I just want to make sure that I got this out. Uh, this raw clip is due to a claim that was made by Andrew Ebby. Uh, some of you might remember him from the uh, live discussion on uh, Red's Rhetoric's channel uh, a couple of months ago. Anyway, uh, short end of it is, is that I am here to show the moon directly south of where I am right now, which is in Kaiserslautern, in Germany. Um, because the claim is from Andrew Ebby that he has proof that the sun being directly 90 degrees above, um, Uganda in Africa, he in California or Mexico, and depending on which way you want to read his post, um, he was able to see the moon at the same time. Uh, at a 45 degree angle from his location, meaning uh, 40, 45 degree elevation. Um, <clears throat> I disputed this claim and also his presentation of it by sending me two photos that were 10 days apart and had no real, real points of reference in them. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, he accepted my invitation to do this uh, experiment. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to step out of the car here it is right now, this clock says that it's 20 after, but the clock up there, uh, hopefully I'll be able to get that in a second here, says it's 22. Now, according to timeanddate.com and obviously my geographic location, that means that I am at lunar noon right now, meaning that the moon is directly uh, 180 degrees south of me and at its highest point. He is going to be, hopefully at this very same time, filming in... California uh, to show me that he can see the moon from his location at 45 degrees above the uh, uh, above the horizon. He has also stated that he's going to be in conversation with Southern Israelite, and I also told him that uh, well, why don't you have him go in there as well and do it uh, for comparison? Don't know if he's going to do it. He made no promises to do so. But nevertheless, let me go out here. Now, I will show this later in a in a more comprised video. It's just that right now I'm kind of out and about. Okay, now what I am looking at is I'm looking between two buildings and the moon is directly above that. I am at the about the seventh or eighth parking spot in the uh uh on the side of the tower, I am in the the first full double row. Um, hold on, uh, from the building. Um, so here, hold on a second here. Now I was asked to do a 360, so that's what I'm going to do. Doing a 360. I am in a courtyard. There's a tower there with a clock on it. And hopefully, I'll be able to get the time off of that because it's really kind of funky. You'll see that in a second. During the day, it looks really great, but the lighting on it at night really sucks. I am in a quad, like I said, a big parking area. And I will show all this to you, as well as I'll put the GPS uh, coordinates of it. Oh, I'm sorry, maybe I should be this high. Okay, I got it all the way down the bottom there. No other moon, no other nothing. Okay, just going around. It is a crystal clear evening. Uh, I was a little worried about it because about two hours ago there was some cloud. There was a sheet of clouds up, but now it is beautiful outside. It's freaking cold, <laughs> and I am in this courtyard, surrounded by these buildings. And like I said, the break between the two buildings there. Uh, is where I am looking at the moon being directly above it. Now I'm going to run over here real quick before my timer runs out because I don't have a lot of storage space available on my phone right now. Now I don't know if you can 100% see that. Let me see if I can zoom in, maybe get it better. No, it's so crappily lit. But you can definitely see the long arm uh, being up on the 12, 
and right now it says that it is 26 after as a matter of fact it just moved to 27 so an average of the two times I'm right at lunar noon okay so I'm gonna be uploading this it's gonna take a little while and uh, yeah hopefully we'll see uh, that from uh, Andrew Abbey as well all right